Hey, it's April from Good Books and Good Wine, and I just want to apologize to you guys for not making a video last week. It was literally insanely busy, and my life is never that busy, but just all of a sudden, it just became full of stuff and work and getting up at 7 in the morning for work and then doing stuff the previous night. I don't even remember what I did. I think I, like, went out to dinner or something with Tony's family, but yeah, holy crap, my life has been so busy lately really bizarre. And I found my Mets hat. This is like a $50 hat. Um, cause you know, you can't just buy cheap hats. So I'm really excited I'm wearing it, even though it makes me kind of look like a thug. Um, anyways, I thought this theme of the video could be about contemporary releases that I'm really looking forward to reading once I finish with the Sibyls. Seeing as how Shannon at Chick Loves Lit and Ashley at basically books from, oh no, her full blog title is Books from Bleh to Basically Amazing. But her Twitter is Basically Books or something like that. Sorry, Ashley. Um, okay, so a few contemporary releases or debuts that I'm looking forward to are Love and Leftovers by Sarah Tregay. Um, it's a book that is in free verse. So, you know, it's like all poetry inside which after reading a few books by Ellen Hopkins and Audition by Stasia Ward Keo, I am just on the free verse train and I love books that are told in verse. So I'm really looking forward to this one. It's about a girl. Um, she moves from Idaho, which, okay, who really wants to live there, to New Hampshire, which is on the East Coast where I live. Um, I don't live in New Hampshire. I live in New York. But, um, and she has to leave behind her friends and her boyfriend and her dad. Um, eventually she discovers that her vacation in New Hampshire is permanent and she starts to kind of uh, begin a new relationship with somebody. So it's kind of like she needs to choose between the new boy and the boy that she left. And I am just really looking forward to this. Um, also Kiss Crush Collide by Christina Meredith. That is pretty much the sexiest young adult book cover that I have ever seen. And it's kind of, at least when I saw the pitch, it was pitched as being a um, combination of Simone Elkeles, however the hell you say her name, the author of Perfect Chemistry and John Green. And those are two authors that I really, really like. So if you can meld them both, so it's like quirky and sexy and awesome, then yeah, I am totally looking forward to this. It's a... Uh, girl from the right side of the tracks meets a boy from the wrong side of the tracks kind of a story. Also, The Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily M. Danforth. Um, I thought Emily Danforth had already written a book, but I could be wrong. Oh no, that's a different Emily. Okay, so basically in this one, Cameron Post's parents die in a car crash. Um, during that car crash, or before the car crash, Cameron was making out with another girl. And Cameron's a girl. So anyways, she gets sent out to live someplace else. Um, she has to live with her conservative aunt. And Ruth is very conservative, like I said. So she sends Cam Cameron to, like, a Jesus camp to try and make her be not gay anymore. So I don't know. It sounds really, really good. And it's blurred by Jacqueline Woodson who wrote Peace Local Motion, which I really liked. And, I don't know, I guess blurbs from good authors matter to me. Okay, and then I also have, or want to read once, you know, I get done with all of this stacks of middle grade science fiction, Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler, which, funny story, when I got this book, it was at BEA, and I was waiting in line, and I was, like, near the front of the line, and I saw, oh, my God, this line is so long. Why is it such a big deal? Why are all these people queuing up? And, I mean, people queue up all the time at BEA, but usually, like, not as excessively as I did for that. And then I find out, like, afterwards, like, after he had signed my book and talked a little bit about me, that, um, <laughs> Daniel Handler is also Lemony Snicket. Yeah, I am awesome at books, because I didn't know that. And, yeah, obviously this is a book about why two characters break up. Um, and I can't wait to read it. Okay, and then I still have this one last book from the pile and I feel kind of dumb like oh these are all arcs but they were like oh the most recent ones that I want to read okay the last like contemporary release upcoming or whatever that I want to read is the catastrophic history of you and me 
by Jess Rothenberg. And basically what happens is Brie dies at 16 because her heart gets broken, literally. Um, but then in heaven, she discovers that love is really complicated, um, there are secrets, and she has a spirit guide or a guide or whatever. And I guess, like, she needs to move through the five different stages of grief before she can move on. So I don't know. This sounds really good. I guess it's not totally a contemporary, um, but it's got a Lauren Oliver blurb. Okay, guys. What are some contemporary upcoming books that you are really looking forward to? Let me know down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Interrobang YA.